Do you want to share it with anybody? Well, uh, he was probably out for a, or she was out for a mild stroll That's yesterday. It. Right? it was so pleasant. You it don't blame him. Well, it was a lot better than where we were this time yesterday, yeah. right? A huge change uh, temperature-wise across the area. And we're going to continue to build on that, I think, as we head through the day today and into tomorrow. Look at the 24-hour temperature change. And I went big picture here because it goes to show how this Arctic air has kind of evacuated the eastern half of the country. So we're 24 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday. Remember, we were into the teens uh, for much of the morning hours. And that warmer air really fills in all the way to the east coast. So it is a significant change as that Arctic air is now released back into Canada. Now, still a little chilly in spots where you have snow on the ground, places like Lafayette and Kokomo, you're at 28. 39 in Muncie, 32 Richmond, 38 Shelbyville, and 36 currently in Bloomington. So snow melt will continue today. We hit 44 yesterday here in Indianapolis. We'll likely get very close to that number again today. Areas up north, you're not quite as warm, but you're still above freezing. We're dry all day long. Tomorrow and Tuesday, a different story is we'll have some precip chances. Pretty good shot for it Monday afternoon, Monday evening specifically, and then heading Monday into the overnight hour. Storm Track 8 future cast. Let's roll through your Monday. Morning to midday, most of the first half of the day is quiet. We'll see some isolated showers arriving heading into the afternoon. Uh, I think we get much more widespread rain post dinner time tomorrow. And you'll see that that's 5 o'clock on. That's a very wet look at 9, 10, 11 o'clock. Maybe some moderate pockets of rain at times. We'll continue that trend even after midnight. Kind of get it on the tail end of this thing as we approach daybreak on Tuesday. Some isolated showers there at 7 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. And then the rest of your Tuesday should be dry, but we are going to be seeing those numbers tumble quite a bit as the cold front moves through. How much rain are we talking about? Some decent numbers. Could be around a quarter of an inch to a half an inch and maybe some isolated higher amounts possible again for Monday night heading into early Tuesday morning. No problems today. We are dry mid to upper 30s as we stroll through the 7 through 11 o'clock hour this morning. Right now we are at 38. 34, the wind chill winds are out of the west at 5. It is a cloudy start here this morning. I think the clouds are going to be kind of the rule here for the day today. We may see our numbers uh, tick down about 4 or 5 more degrees before we start to climb the ladder again. 32 by around 8 o'clock this morning. Thinking 39 by noon. 40 is average, by the way. We should get up to around 43 later on into the day with a mostly cloudy sky. 38 in Richmond, 39 Muncie, 41 Shelbyville, and 44 for your high in Columbus will stay mostly cloudy tonight and quiet. 37 at 9 o'clock, 35 by 11 o'clock. And tomorrow, again, a lot of cloud cover on the way. 30 at 8 o'clock, 43 at noon, and then really decent rain chances starting around dinner time. So do be aware of the evening drive being pretty soggy. 46 for your high tomorrow, 44 Muncie, 43 Richmond, and 48 in Columbus. Tuesday's high is a little bit cooler, and this will likely happen in the morning. You can see some cold air, air building to our north and west. That's going to start funneling in starting Wednesday. We'll really feel the effects of that midweek where we're back to below average temperatures. Wednesday, 35. Thursday will be the coldest of this eight-day stretch where we don't even make it out of the 20s. Chapman heated and cooling eight-day forecast. After the rain chances Monday into Tuesday morning, fairly quiet weather pattern. Wednesday 35, Thursday 29, Friday up to 39 again, and we should bounce back nicely. Looks like we'll have milder temperatures heading into next weekend. 44 on Saturday and up to 50 next Sunday. All right, it's 10.